What's up, guys? You are welcome to Emacom TV, where we publish news on politics, entertainment, celebrities, and metro stories. We have another trending news for you today, and the headline here read: Photo of Oji Uzokalo begging Abakiari for pardon and not to be sent to jail goes viral. All right, guys. Before I proceed with today's news, please, if this is the first time you are watching any of our videos on our channel. There's a red subscribe button below this video. Just go ahead, hit that red subscribe button. Click the bell icon beside it to stay updated whenever we publish news like this without you missing any news again. All right. Um, a photo of what Jews or Carlo, former governor of Abia State, kneeling down alongside Geoffrey Onyema, Minister of Foreign Affairs, is circulating online. In a message shared on social media, particularly on WhatsApp, Carlo, who was recently convicted of fraud, was said to be begging Abakiari, President Muhammad Buhari's chief of staff, to be pardoned of his crime. The plea is said to be in connection with the recent uh, fraud conviction of 7.6 billion naira, which he committed during his time as governor. The message in circulation claimed that Carlo, who currently represents Abia North at the Senate, was begging not to go to jail, but it didn't work. The cable, however, report that the claim is not true. The cable report that the picture was taken on November 24th inside Carlo's compound in Abia State. Oyema had joined others at the former governor's house to celebrate the Christ the King Feast, an annual celebration by the Catholic Church. A video of the celebration also showed those in attendance while a priest officiates the ceremony. Okay, here's the video. So I want you guys to take a look at this video and then um, we'll actually come back for the news. And all thanksgiving be every moment, uh, all sacrament most holy, all sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment, uh, sacrament most holy. O sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment. All right, so uh, guys, uh, I believe you've watched that video. So, what is your take on this? Have you watched the video? Do you actually think that all Jews or Kalu actually stooped so low to be begging Abakari for pardon, not to be sent to prison, or do you think that it is? Uh, the work of mischief maker who actually make up that picture that went viral. Remember the picture have gone viral all over social media and the news we got is that Oji Zokalo was begging, you know, uh, the chief of staff to the president, Abakiari, for pardon. You get? So a lot of you don't know Abakiari. Abakiari is one of the most powerful members of the Boris cabinet. In fact, there is cabal that is actually running the presidency who have actually been alleged. You understand me? The, 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 the first lady, uh, uh, Aisha Bari, have actually lent credence to this that the cabal is actually the ones running the presidency and not her husband. You get so, and uh, at a point in time, people had thought that it was Abakari who is the head of the cabal, but um, information reaching us indicate that it is not Abakari who is the chief of staff to the president, but rather it is Maman Daura Buari's nephew himself. Maman Daura and Buari was are uh, just like brothers; they grew up together. So in the run up to the after Buari won the election. Mama Dara said the only thing, the honor he will only want from Buari is to allow Buari to allow him appoint some of his cabinet members, to which Buari actually, you know, acceded to allow him, and then he appointed. In fact, for what uh, the vice president, I'm sorry, our uh, first lady said, Aisha Buari, she said that Gabashew, the spokesperson to Buari himself, was appointed by Mama Dara, and that Mama Dara is answerable not to the president, but rather to Mama Dara himself. That is, I mean, Gabashew, the spokesperson, is not answerable to the president, that is Buari, but rather he is answerable to Maman Daura. That's what the first lady actually has said. So, this is what is actually going on. So, Abakari here is seen to be a very powerful figure in the Buari's cabinet. This one who wants to get Buari's favor, who wants to see him, must pass through the chief of staff if you don't pass through him and if you don't get the favor of the chief of staff you can see 
the president you get he will ask you to drop a message for the president so this man get to know a lot of things and according to sources he has been issuing out presidential uh he has been issuing out directive as if they were presidential directive you get so that is it so all just a have been sentenced to imp imprisonment but this video just came out now to utterly debunk the whole thing now in this video what a lot of people are still asking is that um why is it that in the video they, they did not show the face of Ojo Zokalo and Geoffrey Onyema the foreign affairs minister why weren't their faces actually shown but in a picture that went that circulated before the video actually came to debunk it their picture were very glaring picture was shown and again why were they taking the back seat you get that's what that's what people are asking why is it that Ojo Zokalo and Geoffrey Onyema are taking the back seat and this video is supposed to be in Ojo Zokalo's home this is Ojo Zokalo's home where the Catholic priest came and conducted a service you understand me Christ the King um, a church they came and conducted a service uh, there so but people are asking if it's if you are actually the host why did you take the back seat you get that's what people are as are saying but to me i feel this this video is actually very convincing you understand that actually led to rest the um the issue that all jews or carlo went to beg about carry that um the video actually put that to rest and that the video was that of the service that was that took place in uh, November 24th in Oji Ozokalo's home. But what do you guys think? I want you to drop your comment below. Let me know what you actually think. This is Emma TV. God bless you all.